Sticky buns are popular with pastry chefs and home cooks alike, and it's no wonder. They're made of leavened dough and filled with sweet, gooey goodness. I started things off with the basics, classic cinnamon sticky buns. Then I was able to advance the technique and show you how to make a British style of sticky bun, the Chelsea loaf. But now it's time for the ultimate in decadent desserts, banana walnut sticky buns topped with a white chocolate frosting. So to make this so decadent, I start with a new style of dough. This is a cakier, richer sticky bun dough. But like the original, it does start with milk. I've got a cup of milk here, and it's been warmed, like the first time, to 105. A tip when working with yeast doughs, 105 is the ideal temperature for yeast to thrive and grow. A little bit too hot, it risks dying. A little bit too low, and it goes dormant, and it won't rise up. So look for that 105, just above your body temperature. Pour that into my mixing bowl, and I'll add the yeast to the milk. Immediately, it'll start going to work, dissolving within the milk, and it's two and a quarter teaspoons. The dough for this recipe is nicely sweet, so I add a third of a cup of light brown sugar. Two eggs. And to keep that yeast at the ideal temperature, the eggs are at room temperature as well. And three and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. And as a little accent, just a bit of grated nutmeg. About a quarter of a teaspoon. Even though this is more of a cake-like, a softer, richer sticky bun dough, I still have to use the dough hook and after all the ingredients are evenly combined on low speed, that's when I add the richness. A quarter cup of unsalted butter and a half a package of cream cheese. So as you can see, it's a stickier dough than the original classic cinnamon sticky bun. So to handle it, you wanna flour your hands a little bit. But you can still see that after a couple of kneads, it's quite soft and pliable, but it does hold together. Shape it into a ball, take a big bowl, and I just give it a light coating of oil, and in goes the dough wrapped with plastic. I'll let this dough rise for a good 90 minutes to two hours until it's doubled in size. While the dough rises, I can get started on the filling, and that is butter caramel sauce, which is sugar with a little water and lemon juice boiled until caramelized, after that, whiskey and whipping cream and butter, and vanilla and cinnamon. And that's going to hold in the banana and the walnuts when I roll up the sticky buns. I have 12 oven-proof ramekins that have been greased, and I'm gonna pour a nice even layer of caramel at the bottom of each ramekin. The ultimate goo factor. And this step uses up about half of the caramel sauce. I'll just set these aside again while I finish up the filling. I've got two nicely ripened bananas, and just like when making banana bread, you wanna squash them up with a fork, but you do wanna keep some rough pieces in there. And pour that remaining half of the caramel sauce over the bananas. Mm. Saucy and juicy, but you can just see the potential once it's baked and warm from the oven, how that's gonna run everywhere. So now it's time to fill the sticky buns. And because the dough is a little softer than that original classic sticky bun recipe, it takes a gentle hand. You can feel that softness there. Nice rectangle shape. And this is where it gets messy and why it's a more advanced recipe. It's half fluid, so you spread it. Make sure to leave that gap at the front. And the last step is to sprinkle on about two thirds of a cup of lightly toasted walnut pieces. Now it takes a lighter touch to sort of lift and roll. It's really squishy, but it's supposed to be. And don't worry if some of the banana walnut filling does goo out as you're slicing it into the 12 portions. And actually, this is not a delicate process, but you wanna lift them up and into the baking dishes. I never promised this would be a tidy recipe, just a delicious one. Patience is the key here. These have to rise for another hour. These I cover with plastic wrap, just so the sticky filling doesn't get stuck to a tea towel. 
And I have a batch here that has sat for an hour, and you can see how they're already creeping up above the ramekins, so they're ready for the oven. In a 350 oven, for 25 to 30 minutes, you'll see them bubbling and golden and beautiful and ready to top with that white chocolate frosting. Absolutely magical. Look at these. Oh, so gooey. You just want to dive into them right now. And I'll top them off with a white chocolate frosting made by beating cream cheese with melted white chocolate and icing sugar. And an absolute smear on top. Nothing more technical than that. And the warm, sticky bun will start melting that frosting a little bit. Pure heaven. So, to serve these, remember the ramekins are hot. So put it on a plate. Now there is a little taste of heaven. And you have to go right for the center. Get right to the goo. Into the bottom. Grab that frosting. Oh, you've got that caramel with the banana, the little cinnamon and vanilla, the walnuts, and of course the white chocolate frosting that's already starting to melt on my floor. 